Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Parenting Podcast. We're coming to you from Dubuque, Iowa, and we've got a special guest with us today. Adam and Heidi Hershey are with us from Fort Worth, Texas, and we're talking about maintaining your composure uh, in the midst of discipline when your children are, well, when you have an opportunity. Exactly. So uh, you guys have five children. So I'm wondering, do you deal with each one of them all the same, or do you prepare yourself differently depending on which child it is? Okay, well, that's a great question. Um, I, I guess, I'd first of all, I'd say we deal with all of them the same generally in that uh, we have taken up upon ourselves as parents the responsibility to partner with God to disciple our children. Mm-hmm. And so that that's the first thing individually that in general, yes, we we take the same view of discipleship. In specific child, they're very different. Every child has their personality. And so um, when disciplining the, the children, we do each one individually in exactly, you know, how we talk to them, how we work through situations. Um, certain ones may, uh, I shouldn't say may, they do. Certain <laughs> ones do. Their personality will rub one parent wrong or raw uh, before the other parent. You know, um, Heidi's introverted by nature. I'm extroverted by nature. I'm outgoing, um, talkative, more, as far as for a guy, more dramatic, I guess. But drama drama for me is more like (laughs) anger, right? It's not like, woo, yay, you know, that sort of stuff. But um, so then when, when you're, sometimes when your child has a similar personality as you, then they will rub you faster uh, and uh, you can get irate pretty fast. <laughs> so, so you have to step back and say, okay, um, this one's done something wrong, but uh, rather than just react out of my flesh because I'm like you, I know how you think, um, you have to step back and decide how would be the best way to approach this personality type uh, with the discipline of God's word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Um, uh, with one one of our children, her love language is touch, and so I know that you know if I was to uh, spank her, it would mean something different to her than uh, another one of my children who his love language is words of affirmation. So um, if I say something like, "Man, I am really disappointed in you," that that crushes him that crushes him so uh, i could spank him all day long he won't change uh but but if i say you know it doesn't seem like it but um but if i say man i that really disappointed me the actions that you did because it doesn't line up with how god's created you and i i know you're better than that you know i know that uh, you know better than that and you did it anyways right uh then he gets the point yeah you know that's so good yeah yeah, you know, you're able to say something like that without, without him going to the bottom, without him mm-hmm. getting a lousy self-image. You're just able to be honest with him like that. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas with you know with my our girls, we have three girls, two boys. You know, so I'm always I'm always very careful with what words I use, especially with the girls, um, because as the man of the home, I, I've come to realize through her help, uh, the power of my words as the leader of the home. Yeah. And so. Usually when I use my words, um, I've softened how loud I say my words because naturally when I get excited, it's like a football game, (laughs) you know, or a soccer game. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, this means something to me. Your life means something to me. I want you to succeed. I want you to be awesome. I want you to fulfill your God-given destiny. So I get all passionate about it. And they're all like, <laughs> you know, yeah, we're not and, talking about yelling at them. No, just, you no. are passionate at times about yeah, I'm just passionate. Stronger. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I don't know if that's the German heritage coming out or what, <laughs> you know, or the Irish heritage. I'm a mixed bag, I don't know. It all, you know, I so I get passionate, you know, mm-hmm. but I think you know, usually people's first reaction to a passionate person is, is to put their walls up. You know, it's just mm-hmm. like, um, if, if someone needs a drink and they're really thirsty, and you go over and you open up a fire hydrant, they're still going to put their arms up for mm-hmm. safety, mm-hmm. even though it's the water that they need. Yeah. You know. And so with, with your children, mm-hmm. what you want to do is you don't want to open the whole fire hydrant at once. You want to look at what they need and just 
open the faucet a little bit at a time and just give them exactly what they need, how they need it, so that they'll grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's really so good. good. A lot of wisdom in that. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you guys for yeah. coming and sharing with us and being on the Parenting Podcast and helping the parents who are listening to be more successful in their yeah. parenting. Thank you for Good. having us. So appreciate it. You guys have a great week this week. You're doing it. We'll be back with you next week.